things of the past have been disturbed. Hello, it's Retro Guardian Joe. Maybe I should run. It, shut up. Okay, no. It says something about a fuse box being somewhere. Oh, hello. Wow, I completely missed that door. Hello. Oh, and there's said lantern. Frickin' finally. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I know. Uh, how do I... Can I have gas for the lantern? What are we doing? Oh, now I can do it. Ah. <sighs> Uh, where do I, where did I light it from? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. <gasps> I got a light. Okay, so now something about a fuse box around here. Ooh, neat and spooky. Fuses left or right, lobby, coffee lights, cafe lights, cafe main, kitchen lights, kitchen main. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but hey, it's here. Can I go any further? That's as far as I go in this kitchen. Oh, that kitchen light. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what I did. I just kind of clicked around. Ooh, the door is padlocked. Touch it, touch it. Oh. It's neat, but I don't know what the point of a lot of these things are. Let's see a radio. Yeah, we missed the radio. Dance body. And this is Emma Harry, back on the air again after that power cut. I'll be your nightlight till around about one o'clock, so long as we don't have any more power outs. I've braved outside to fire up the generator and I'm up and running under my own steam. This is 14. BHR station, alone here on Barrow Hill. Though I could swear I saw someone up here with me a moment ago. <laughs> with a little bit less daylight this time of year, you can imagine anything in that ever increasing darkness. Why not give me a call and say hello on 585? And in case you've forgotten, it's 20, the autumn equinox, the beginning of autumn. Or for those from across the pond, the beginning of fall. And while the daylight hours are dwindling, there's a harvest festival celebration tomorrow down by the harbour. But if you're so excited you can't sleep, well, stay up with me and I'll figure out some way to keep you occupied. All right then. So that was the hints, I guess. Okay, so that's the basket it's supposed to take for the mushrooms. Or at least picking things. Not quite certain what I'm doing with all of it, but hey. I think I actually click on here. No. Really, it's not. Apparently, we're not interested in rations. Wait, what's that say? An uncooked egg. An uncooked egg could be murder. Do not kill your customers. Oh, right, salmonella. What am I, what am I looking at? Uh, apparently I could look in that uh, like flower pot because apparently the matches could potentially have been in there. So I guess like certain items are kind of randomized to so locations of them.
What? No. Phone in and let me know what's keeping you up. 585. More tunes straight up from BHR. I assume that's supposed to be static out. Yep, no idea what I'm looking at. Am I supposed to be doing anything in here? I mean, I got a lantern now, so there's a lot more I can do. Let's go back and get that mushrooms. Maybe look at that path. However, before I start doing anything else, always be saving. Hello. Oh, I found the till. Uh, apparently I'm gonna need a key for the till. Maybe if I talk to him again, maybe he'll see. Also, I just noticed this. Ben, you can deliver Phil's diner to motel room number two. Tonight at 6.30, you said, don't forget, the lock is set to 8.22. Remember, the asterisk and key, pound keys reset the lock. So, 8.22 for door number two. Let's go do that. Home invasion. Well, room invasion, but... Basically, break in an entry. Hello, anybody here? Push the toilet. Oh. I have not seen that push top in forever on a toilet. Let me know if any of those still exist. Yeah, I'll be busy in that. Don't, don't, don't look at the gravel rock again. <sighs> Something behind me. Steal it. Journal of Pete Heston. What a day. I've been given the opportunity to join Conrad Morse's excavation of the scheduled ancient monument known as Barrow Hill. I've begun this journal to keep track of information regarding the project. June 11th. Professor Morse has personally funded this dig is providing a more than generous wage. The funds will allow me to investigate other sites I've been dying to get my trowel into. I'm surprised that permission to dig the site has been granted. The initial document submitted by Conrad suggested that the burrow has been left undisturbed from ancient times. The stones are still standing and are very impressive. From the images I've seen, they're all unique with individual shapes and characters. Burrow Hill has so far been kept out of the tourist eye. And even local people avoid the area. I hope this means the dead goes uninterrupted. Oh, there's more! June 18th, Conrad's timetable for the dig arrived this morning. His objectives are clearly set out. Our first task would be the establish authentication of the stone circle by digging a test pit trench around each stone. Any finds that will be recovered and soil samples collected from each strata. The collections will be initially examined before shipped off for detailed scientific investigation, photography, and conservation which Mr. Morse tells me ha has already arranged. The trenches will need to be recovered almost immediately as members of the public could turn up any moment. Thank you for storing the soil and turf is not a problem. June 21st, I have another letter from Professor Morse. He is keen to begin work in the site and has asked me to join him in the Cornwall. I shall leave later this week. I meet Conrad at a small branch line train station known as... Wakewood. I can't wait. June 25th. The Barrow Hill site is amazing and unspoiled. The exception of the service station that will be at home for the coming months. All the equipment is unpacked and ready. There are some friendly staff here at the service station. They seem pleased to have guests staying. I'm the, I have the feeling this area doesn't go get many visitors. Oh boy. <laughs> Tomorrow we begin our first task, to establish the site's authenticity. We'll begin with a circle around the apparent burrows. The burrow does seem rather small. No doubt more lies beneath. The concentration of ancient monuments here at Barrow Hill is astounding. How they have survived over the centuries is a mystery to me. July 5th. Conrad has already begun the top of the hill survey by the geophysics team. They will process the data and send us the results soon. I would give geographical surveys an amazing asset. I still find geophysical surveys an amazing asset. they would be able to look through the earth and see what is below. Using radar and magnetic signals, the interpretation will be interesting, but nothing is quite, quite like revealing the past layer by layer. 
I look forward to putting my trial to use. Jesus Christ, how much more? Oh my. You know what? Okay, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Page one. Page two. Page three. Page four. Page five. Page six. <laughs> Page seven. Page eight. Page nine. I should probably move my mouse cursor a little. Jesus Christ. I don't know how useful all that information is anyhow. Pictures, pictures. I guess I'll be going to look at that crypt in a bit also. Uh, so this is... So wait, what's this guy saying? What's this guy's Pete? Yes, okay. Go look at this. Go, go to look. Oh my god. Left or right? Right, okay. Dear Lucy, thanks for the letters. It's been a long time since we spoke. I know, but there's comfort in knowing you are scrutinizing our findings. Your report of the soil examples. Burnt trenches arrived yesterday. Conrad is deep. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. Weird, Lucy, listen, something very strange is going on here. At first I thought I was in it was my imagination. I'll tell you more in person. Beat. Is this the site? Where am I? What is all this? Who are you? And this. Wonderful. Be nice if you can take it. Hello. Ooh, trowel. Ahoy, mateys. This is BHR. It's Emma Harry beaming a signal across the sea from the crew and the Jolly Sailor. Fishing 15 miles out tonight. Here's a warm hello and keep a watch out for any dark clouds heading in from the west. All right. I haven't rechecked with the weatherman just yet, so I can't say for sure about that rain. But there's a bright moon in the sky and a gentle breeze. You can almost smell that equinox. <coughs> Quiet, Quincy. <coughs> I'm Emma Harry, and if you don't have anything to do right now, I'll be right here playing music all through the witching hour till about. I'm trying to survive. Quincy's here to keep me company. So like I am a little busy. And I'm here to keep you. Just a little though. We've got a caller on the line. Hello, you're live on air at BHR. Get away, get away. No, no, save me. You've got to get me out of here. I know this it's voice. Here. I saw it from the window. It got them and it's after me too. Ben. It got all of them. <laughs> We're the only ones left. You've got to run, run, don't you see? Ben, he woke something is that up. you? It's here and it's hungry. All those stories, they're all true. Are, are you messing about? Hey, take it a piss. Taken to it by his own army. They could be anywhere, anything. He controls it all. The rocks, What's going the on? Feeding. I thought I was safe, but I'm not. It's only a matter of time. Get me out. Let me out. It will hear me. That's uh, a little strange. I hope that was a joke. <laughs> I'll try and give him a call back. If there are any other late night listeners who want to give me a call, the number, as always, is 585 21. I've got some more music for the rest of you and a few nice surprises coming up. Not least our usual book at bedtime. For those who need to catch up, the Mad Hatter expects you at the tea party. Before that, I'll be ready to check in with the weatherman. In the meantime, relax while I play these songs and messages. Well, the man. All right. Now, Lucy. <laughs> Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Hiya, Pete. <clears throat> Pete, I saw an article about the dig on the newspaper today. It condemns those work on it and anybody supporting it. So not overly positive. It's a small, cheap article. Even so, you, you know there are some fanatical people out there. That they oppose to the idea of any archaeological archaeological investigations. A small site like Barrow Hill is bound to upset them. Especially those based down in Carwall. They think the country is an island, cut off from the rest of us. The article has an unusual big mouth quotes. And some ridiculous talk of evil tidings. What are these people like? Be careful, you know how obsessive some people can be. 
Only the sign is secure and Connor knows his enemies. I don't know how to turn off justification. Love, Lucy. More tunes and messages coming up from BHR. Come along and join Wait, I'm not going to take the brush? Fine. Also, I'm a little more curious in this briefcase down here. Ooh, drawer. Ooh. <gasps> I found a phone. Uh... Oh, Bird Preacher, thank you for accepting the, the post of my assistant for the of excavation of Barrow Hill. I've enclosed an area map, train track, tickets, and instructions for your journey. I'll collect you from the local train station, Wakewood, until upon your arrival. I will check into the motel near the site, okay, blah, 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 blah. Your reputation, no doubt, will be earned. Yours, Seymour's, Seymour's. Okay. Where did that phone I picked up? Oh, it's up here. Eight. Uh, can I push buttons? No, because of low battery. How do I charge a phone? Do you not have a charger with your phone, you idiot? Uh, oh. Oh, you do. You're not that stupid. Um. Excuse me? Where is that? Yeah. Hmm. Either way, let's go back in here. I have to put the code in again. Fine. Phone in. Let me know what's keeping you. Why Charge you complete. You Thank you. They did bring his charger with him. He's not that stupid. Uh, okay, so there's several options right now. Do I know anything to call? Do I, can I call anything right now? No signal, oh, that's saying right there. We have flies. Well, all right, saving. And next time we're to and Joe, we shall go behind the, uh, station and see if we can find the Tower, but I have nothing to call. Hmm. Do I have any numbers to call? I don't think anyone left me any numbers to call, correct? Might have been a number in here. Any case, so I'll see if there's any numbers to call if they're here, and if not, then I'll go explore the crypts, maybe. Then, see you later, bye.